Hello friends, Teak Bridge 101 here with a British MRE unboxing. Just got this uh, in the mail today. Uh, happy Labor Day to everyone, by the way. Uh, nothing like doing a, a British MRE on an American holiday. Of course. It's a holiday in America. All right, so what we got here, without further ado, is uh, meal 16 straight from England. Let's open this bad boy up with my grandfather's poker knife. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, look at this. We've got Typho or Typhu, maybe. Who knows? Great British tea. Since 1903. It even rhymes. Let's see what's in here. Open the bag up. All right. <laughs> Man, this is a... That is a... Look at that. That is a man-sized spoon. Man, a lot. That's like something Sasquatch would, uh, would uh, eat with. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Typhu or Typho, and it says... Right there in the corner, it says certified. So it's definitely a uh, Rainforest Alliance certified, so no little tree frogs were hurt in the making of this video. Oh, yes, this is what uh, F, uh, what am I saying? This is what Crazy Russian Hacker uh, drinks. Nest Cafe, I think that'll be with our breakfast. Let's see what else we got here. Looks like some. Creamer, good. So we got multiple creamers for the coffee. It looks like we're going to have a very, very creamy coffee. Looks like uh, sugar. Azuka. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, look at this. We've got uh, chewing gum. That's pretty cool. Ooh, cool. Alcohol-free alcohol antibacterial wipes. So these are... I've, I've watched a lot of these MRE unboxings, and man, a lot... These are these have got to be the biggest antibacterial wipe packets I've, I've ever seen. Like, the MREs usually put multiple packets in there, but man, these are big... Well, look, before we get going, let's, let's wash our hands. It's always important to be sanitary. All right. Looks like we're all sterile now. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, they've got two types of instant coffee. This is Rombouts. Rombouts instant coffee. That's interesting. So we've got Nescafe and Rombouts. Another instant wipe. Ah. As a crazy Russian hacker would say, survival matches. Not going to be using those today, but definitely going to store those away. And oh, uh, an extra tea. Uh, looks like it says English breakfast tea. There we go. That's pretty cool. So that explains the need for more creamers. That's pretty awesome. And then uh, let's see here a bunch of even more creamers. Uh, so uh, total, all, all in total, uh, four creamers. Oh, cool! Uh, water purification tablets. That's awesome. Uh, I didn't see these in the MRE unboxing that uh, Taras Cool did. That is cool. Water purification. Man, I'm going to save those. Wow, that is cool. <laughs> that is neat. All right, that's the first bag. Oh, candies. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh man, the American MREs don't come with so many candy. That is cool. Lemon flavor, 50 grams. Let's see, there we go. Oh, cool. Uh, fruit flavored energy drink powder. Oh yeah, I was hoping we'd get this one. Here's a second energy drink. Raspberry. I love raspberry stuff. Got to stay clean. So if we are a messy eater, we've got Paloma Super Soft Napkins. Ah, here we go. Here's the uh, shrink-wrapped roasted peanuts. 
That's pretty cool. Let's put these over here. Oh, look at this! An oatmeal block. So that's uh, that's definitely going to be something with breakfast too. That's pretty cool. Kind of lime green packaging. That's awesome. Looks like our uh, second or third drink packet. Oh, hot chocolate. And they spell flavor the British way. What do we got here? Oh my gosh! Even more, <laughs> even more nuts. <laughs> Dang boy, uh, the. Uh, the uh, Crazy Russian Hackers unboxing had, I think, one packet of nuts, just the peanuts. But man, so they're putting, and these look like, it looks like uh, there's peanuts, almonds, and cashews. Oh, yeah, here's breakfast. Here's our main breakfast meal. Apple, cinnamon, muesli with milk. That's going to be cool. What's this? Oh, mango cake. That's going to be good with tea or coffee. Uh, here's our main courses. We've got uh, meal one, chili con carne, or con carne, however you pronounce that. That's pretty cool. I love chili. Never get sick of that. Ooh, Mexican tuna with pasta. On the beaten path meals. And here's, uh, here's a third one. Beyond the beaten, what am I say? I said beyond the beaten path. It says beyond the beaten track. Apologies, YouTube. And this is plain rice. And then we've got some miscellaneous items here. Oh, cool, even more drinks. Uh, we've got tropical flavored drink powder with sugar and sweeteners. Definitely going to be your high caloric energy. And then we've got, oh, I was, oh, cool. I was hoping to get this one. The, this is the uh, grapefruit drink. I love grapefruit, oh my gosh. Like when, when from, uh, from about oh, November to April, we're like, eat grapefruit all the time. Look at this. Look at that. Hope that focuses. It says uh, hot original pepper sauce by Hot Diggity Dog. And there's a little, there's a little dog there. I'll look for the, uh, if it didn't show up on the camera, I'll look for the logo on online. And then we've got a questionnaire to let them know if we thought everything was amazing or sucked. And that's that's what's in the emery. Okay, let's get into this, some of this stuff now. I think I'm gonna start with breakfast. Since I haven't had breakfast yet, I'm really hungry. Like, oh my god. Open this bad boy up. Oh cool. Look at that. All right, let's uh, see if we can add the right amount of water in here. Oh yeah, this is cool. Yeah, there's like uh, this milk powder in here. Let's be careful. This is not boiling water, but it's 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 warm. <laughs> it's it's warm. Let's not get this too soppy. Oh, there's the milk. Yeah, that's cool. Cool, look at that. It, uh, it's, uh, it's not like, uh, it's, it looks like skim milk. That's what it kind of looks like. Set this, uh, between the two Thor's twins. As they, uh, said in Red October. We'll dispense with our flag for a moment. And let's get me some coffee. I need, I need some coffee. Let's add some water to this. Oh, cool. Those little, uh, it looked like little uh, pebbles of coffee. And let's get our, one of our many creamers. Look at that. There's kind of a, look at that. There's almost like a crema at the top of the coffee, like, uh, like you get with espresso. Whoops. Already making a mess like uh, Crazy Russian Hacker. <laughs> yeah, we don't mind. Oop, not too much. Okay, and let's have breakfast. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's what it looks like. That's cool. Man, I'm, I'm kind of thinking 
I was recently watching uh, documentaries about the Falklands campaign. Ooh, that's good coffee. It's a little weak, but it's good. It's got good flavor. That's not bad. Might have added too much water. But I was watching a documentary about the Falklands campaign, and I'm kind of envisioning myself now. What? You know, early morning on the Sheffield, right before battle. Man, I, I'd be ready for anything with this. Yeah. Like when you... The milk uh, really thickened up. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Starting breakfast this way. Man, you're ready for anything. Wow. That was good. All right. Let's move on to something else here. Let's try one of the energy drinks. I think I'm going to do the grapefruit. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. Oh, cool. It looks like it's even grapefruit colored. Kind of a... Stir it up here. Mmm, that's good. It's not uh, like your typical grapefruit flavor. It's, uh, it's grapefruit, but it's, it's different, but it's good. It smells really grapefruity. I will say that. Wow, that's going to be fun to drink for our lunch. Okay. Okay, what do I want to have here? Well, this is going to be dessert. I think I'm going to save the plain rice. Uh, let's try Mexican tuna with pasta. I'm kind of interested to see what that's like. I think before we have lunch, let's let's do the uh, let's do the MRE thing and have a snack. I mean, you know, this is an all-day, this is a 24-hour ration MRE, as you probably already know. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mixed nuts. Cool. Looks like there are peanuts, cashews, and almonds. Unsalted. Now, that's why they say just nuts. Mm. with the rest of our coffee. Well, I don't see any heating instructions on this, but I got some warm water here, so or hot water, actually. Let's get the food down from the tear line. Let's try this bad boy out. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. Look at that. That is beautiful. The color, you got corn, little peppers in there, bell peppers. You got, um, I guess you twisted pasta. And big pieces of tuna. Awesome. Let's get a sip of our grapefruit drink here before we dig in. Mmm. Let's try some of this. Oh, oh my god. Oh man, look at that. You got beans, you got corn. My God, this tastes like it was just, mm. Oh, look at that. This is man food, man. Mmm. That's amazing. Man, there's so much in here. There's kind of an oily uh, thing on the pasta. It's not. It's not. It's not uh, un, un displeasing or what am I trying to say? It's not tasteless. It's got a flavor to it. It's a little annoying. It's clearly a preservative. So as you get to the as you get to the bottom here, it. Uh, it kind of settles down in there. Mm. 
But other than that, man, that is really good. Mexican tuna with pasta. Wow. Mm. Let's try our mango cake for dessert. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm really, really interested to see what this looks like, actually, and tastes like. Oh, cool! Look at that. Awesome. It's like a, a little brick, and you can see that they... This is the... It's a sheet cake. Oh, man, look at that color. Smells, uh... Smells interesting. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Has a good, uh... Texture. Good crumb. Mm. It smells a little strange. It smells like kind of like artificial mango, but when you eat it, it doesn't really taste like mango. It, it tastes really bland, which is a very slight mango essence. It's good. I like it. I don't mind it. It's not bad. I think compared to the breakfast, the apple cinnamon muesli, and the Mexican tuna with pasta, dessert, dessert's a little lacking. Mm. Sip of coffee. Let's try to dunk it. See if that helps. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't really absorb. It's 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 really uh, as you can probably tell. It's really packed. I'm not complaining. I mean, back to what I was saying earlier at the onset of this video. You know, we're, let's imagine we're out there. It's the Falklands. It's cold. You don't know if the Exocet missiles are gonna hit you or some Argentinian torpedo. You know what's happening then. Under those conditions, this is probably amazing. You get this bright, orangey, yellow cake with your grapefruit drink. The ship's tossing and turning, but you don't care. You got this stuff in your belly. You, you can face anything. I mean, I'm sitting here in my, in my home and I'm like <laughs> criticizing. It's not bad. Definitely going to save some for later. Mm. All right. Well, that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner slash dessert. I think we're going to try some of the... It's after dinner. We're going to have some chewing gum. Let's see what this is. Oh, cool! It's a resealable package. That's awesome. I didn't see that at first. It's got a little tiny uh, Ziploc fi thing. Excuse me. Oh, nice big chiclet pieces. These are like twice the size of the of the chiclets that you get in the. Uh, won't say the brand, but I think we all know the name of the brand. Let's try it. Mmm. Spearmint. Wow. Oh my gosh. I almost don't want to eat this. This is so good. Or chew this, I should say. Yeah, we eat gum, of course. Wow, this is a really... My God. This is a really good spearmint flavor. Wow, it's like... I mean, you know those spearmint lifesavers? Those white lifesavers you get in doctor's offices and stuff? Or at the office supply stores? Those have nothing on this. And those are really good. Like I have like a stash of those in my room. Oh my God. This is, this is some of the best spearmint gum I've ever had. Wow. Mmm. Well, that really clears your pet. It's, it's strong, but it's not bitter or overpowering. It's a really strong, sweet spearmint. Wow. Man, that is cool. That is cool. Well, guys... I think I've tested all I'm going to test today. Honestly, 
I brought a bunch of glasses and stuff out and I got my extra water, but oh my gosh, I don't think I'd have made it. <laughs> it's been cool. If, if you guys are ever looking for an exotic MRE to break the the mold of the, the American MREs, man, the British MRE, get your inner angle file on. That's all I have to say. Wow. Everything. Um, my only complaint really was the, the mango cake. The dessert was... And it's kind of... Eh, meh. Shrug. But everything else, wow. Like, this is, this is satisfying beyond belief. Look to see you guys in the next MRE unboxing and taste test. I might upload some of my uh, taste tests of these other items later in a separate video. But hey, until then, happy uh, Labor Day. We'll see you on the other side of this one. Teak Bridger 1 signing out.